Hello, welcome to another exciting product review from Gobbler Ridge Farms. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the 55 gallon terracotta rain barrel that I purchased at Home Depot. Now, uh, I paid $79 for this. I just checked online a little while ago and the price is still uh, $79. And you might be saying, you paid $79 for a 55 gallon barrel? Well, uh, this one, this one here, uh, is, is a little bit different. It's been repurposed. It originally started out, uh, containing olive oil and, uh, the company that, that makes these for Home Depot, uh, takes the barrel, cleans it out fairly good and then repurposes it. And the other day in one rainstorm, we, uh, filled this one up, almost filled up the second one. The next rainstorm that came along, topped those off. And we did it with just the gutters that I installed on my little eight by 12 greenhouse. <laughs> so uh, it wasn't that much surface area, got these full. And now I have uh, rainwater that I can use to water the greenhouse uh, without putting any impact on my well that I use for my house <laughs> and other household things. So uh, I'm gonna take you and show you uh, what, what they did to repurpose these and uh, you'll soon see why I think uh, this was a very good purchase. Okay, as you can see, I have these rain chains right here and I have those connected to the gutter. And then what that does, it directs the rain to come down into the top of the barrel. And let me show you a couple of neat features about this. Let me move the rain chain first and we'll get to that. Okay, now I've removed the rain chain so you can see what we have here. This is a screen mesh and they have a uh, little plastic top over, over that, or under that actually. And then they've cut out three nice holes that let plenty of rainwater funnel in there. Now, periodically the screen is gonna gather some debris and you can simply screw this top off Ta -da! The screen comes right out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oop, there it goes. And then you can further take this tray all the way out so that you can either dip the water out that way if you need to. You can uh, continue to filter it a little more if something did get past there. And then you can put that all back together. And that's going to uh, do a lot to keep this water uh, clear and having uh, keeping debris from getting into your water and starting to decay and break down and you know contaminate the water. So very nice design feature. I like that a lot. And then when you're done, you can simply put the screen and all back on. See, it's so easy. You can do it one-handed. Screw that back on. Reinsert the rain chains, and I am ready for the next rainstorm. Now, in addition to that, they have a, a, a couple little places right here that you can take off. I'm not going to do that because the water line is above there, as you can see. Uh, I actually had it full all the way to the top of this after the last rainstorm. But what you can do is you can take multiple rain barrels, and they also have another little nozzle down here, and you can actually connect these so that when this one uh, fills up, uh, you know, you can kind of stagger a little, a little bit, and then the, the water will come down and cascade into the next one. So if you have a need for, you know, more than 55 uh, gallons, you can put these in a series and collect as much rainwater as you want. So once again, uh, you know, for the, for the money, that's a very nice addition. Now I've put mine up on this uh, concrete block to give it a, a little more downforce and uh, increase my pressure somewhat. It also allows me to put a, uh, a, a bucket or some type of collection device under here. You can also attach a garden hose to this and as long as you keep it below the uh, top of the barrel, the pressure is gonna push down on that, on that water and out through here and you can actually water through a little hose. And this, as you can see, I don't wanna waste my water. That is a, a pretty substantial stream, so. There's a lot of features built into what is a very simple rain barrel.
is a two and a half gallon rain, uh, uh, two and a half gallon watering can, and it filled that up in short order. This thing's spitting out a lot of water pressure. Well, you probably already guessed that I'm a big fan of this terracotta rain barrel from Home Depot. The gauge on the plastic is very substantial, much th thicker than some other 55 uh, gallon barrels that uh, were made uh, from a plastic type material uh, that I've encountered are. So I like the, the thickness of the material. It was originally designed to hold olive oil. So you know, it's food grade, it's never had any chemicals or anything in there, so I like that. Uh, the design on the top, where this is, uh, the top can be easily removed. Uh, it has a screen to filter things out. Uh, you have options to uh, take the water from the top or, or the spigot, as you saw during the video, has a tremendous amount of water pressure. And the fact that you can series some of these and save up as, as much water uh, as, as you need. Now I'm on a, a bored well, uh, so in times of drought, uh, you know, I almost hate to water some of the plants. Uh, I have had uh, drought situations where it has, it has run dry uh, uh, on me. We went nearly uh, three months without rain, so uh, you know, in, in those situations, it's nice to have a backup that's not going to exert that kind of pressure on the, the water I use to actually uh, live on. So I am going to give this product a tremendous thumbs up. I, I have loved uh, using this. And so that's going to do it for this review. I highly recommend it. I'll see all you turkeys on the next video.